and welcome to Naughty Daddy's Guide to Computing from Maths to Minecraft. In this video we're going to look at some of the logic gates that we're familiar with and see how they work down at the level of switches and at the electronic level. Okay so we'll start off with this AND gate here. An AND gate is very simply two switches in series. That means that the current comes in here and has to pass through one switch and then has to pass through another switch to come out. Oh dear. I cannot draw a arrow very well. Okay. Oh gosh. I'm not going to obsess over that arrow. I'm just going to copy this one. If at first you don't succeed, cheat. Not a good policy to live by, but we're on a we pressed for time. Okay, so let's draw a quick circuit to show how this might work. Let's take our plus 5 volts. This would be connected up to some sort of battery or a power supply unit. And this is our 0 volts, which again would be connected to the um, other side of the battery. So you might have um, a battery here. I'm, I'm not going to draw the electronic symbol for a battery because if you know the electronic symbol for a battery you don't need this drawing. So pretend that that's your battery. The, your wire would connect up here and your other wire would connect down here. Okay, so we have our circuit here. So if we pull down from the plus 5 volts and we put a switch here And then we have another switch here. And then here we'll have some sort of light source, maybe an LED or something. Needs to actually be oh dear, these don't look like they're connected. They are they should be connected. Try to connect that up a little neater. And this comes down here. So if this switch is closed and this switch is closed, the current can come down here and the light will come on. But it will only come on if both these switches are closed. So that's an AND gate, an AND arrangement. If you wanted it to be an electronic switch instead of a, um, a manual switch, instead of a, a switch here, what you would have is a transistor. A transistor is basically an electronic switch. And it's hard to draw a transistor, but I'll try. And I'm going to copy that one. Stick it in there, okay. And then you have your input comes in here from whatever circuit you want. Now the way a transistor works is if a small current comes in here, the transistor will open and allow a larger current to come down here. So you would need an input from here. So this would be our input A. This would be our input B. And we either have an LED as a, our output or you could take a line from here and that would be your output. Obviously the line can come out in any direction and that would be your output from that AND gate. So that's an AND gate. To do an OR gate 
I'm actually going to I think I'll just manipulate this same thing in an OR gate your switches are in parallel rather than in series so that one connects independently and then this comes here and forms a junction put a, a dot to show that that's a junction so now you can if that small current comes in here so that switch that electronic switch comes on so the current can flow down here and through here and out here or if that switch is on then the current can flow down here and come out here and if both of the switches are on the current can flow down here and through here and that gives us our OR gate okay lastly we're going to look at a, a NOT gate and this is a the simplest NOT gate we have is a current drain NOT gate now in this case the output is connected directly via a high resistor so we need a large resistance compared to this switch here and this switch just goes straight down and short circuits the whole thing so if a small current comes in here this transistor opens allowing all the electricity to come through flow this way and straight round completing the circuit and that should actually go all the way down to here okay so that allows the circuit to flow when when the um, transistor is open when we're all closed whatever so it allows the current to flow if a switch is closed it allows the current to flow so this current flowing in here basically closes the switch allowing the current to flow down here completely missing out this LED or, or missing out this output so a, a signal of 1 coming in here means a signal of 0 comes out here if there's a signal of 0 coming out here this transistor is open uh, as in it, the, the circuit is broken the, the current cannot flow through here so it has to flow through this resistor but electricity doesn't want to flow through a resistor if it can possibly help it it will always try to take the path of least resistance so it would favor going this way if this switch is closed allowing the current to flow if this switch is open preventing the current from flow it has no choice but to go through the the higher resistance and then the um, output here will be high or plus 5 volts or, or a signal of 1 so a signal of 0 coming in here will result in a signal of 1 coming out here a signal of 0 coming in here or is uh, sorry, a signal of 1 coming in here will result in no signal coming out here and that's your basic inverter circuit um, or NOT gate so that's our AND or a NOT gate explained in simple electronic circuits